my dear friends welcome to the session in this session we are going to discuss about the next topic that is hooke's law we have already discussed about the different types of stress and the corresponding strains too right now in hooke's law we will be discussing about the relation between these two okay so here we are going to discuss about the elastic behavior of solids the hooke's law and the corresponding applications of hooke's law so let's see in detail first we have to discuss about the elastic behavior of solids okay so we know that a solid can behave in elastic nature or it can exhibit elastic nature okay so we know that there are atoms or molecules inside a solid and these molecules are exerting a force on these neighboring molecules too clear now suppose that we are going to consider this mechanism through a ball and spring model okay so we are going to visualize that particular solid structure concept based on this ball and spring model so what we are going to do is we have placed balls in space of the atoms or molecules and the spring represents the intermolecular force of attraction okay so what happens suppose that i am going to apply a force on this body so correspondingly the atoms or molecules will get displaced isn't it and this spring will try to get it back into the position okay now suppose that i have removed the force applied to the body then what happens this springs which represents the intermolecular force of attraction it will tend to regain that ball corresponding to the original position making to maintain the lattice structure okay so that is what is happening in a solid structure too the intermolecular force of attraction will tend to bring back to the atoms or molecules to the respective lattice points itself and maintain the solid structure as such okay so that is how we can analyze the elastic behavior of solids so we can summarize that when a solid is deformed what happens atoms are displaced from the lattice resulting in the change of interatomic distances then what happens when the force is removed the interatomic force try to bring the body back to its original position thus regaining its original shape okay so this is how we account for the elastic behavior of solid okay and a english physicist called robert hooke when he analyzed these concepts he could analyze that there is a relation between a stress and the corresponding strain produced and that was implied as hooke's law so what does this law states about it says that the strain of the material is proportional to the applied stress within the elastic limit okay so if the material is maintained in the limit of elasticity if that material is showing the property of elasticity then we can say that the strain produced in a material is proportional to the applied stress okay or rather i can say that stress by strain that ratio will be a constant let that constant be capital e okay so we say from hooke's law stress is proportional to strain within the elastic limit okay only if it is within the elastic limit the stress is proportional to strain okay from that i can say that stress by strain that ratio is a constant okay so if i am considering a spring which is obeying hooke's law then i can say if a force f is applied onto the spring and the corresponding extension produced is x then i can say that f is proportional to x or rather f is equal to minus kx where k is a constant there okay now we can say a spring which is obeying the hooke's law to be termed to be hookean spring okay a spring that 
obeys Hooke's law. But this Hooke's law is not a universal law. It is not obeyed by each and every material. Okay. So, there are some material which does not obey Hooke's law. And that include rubber, plastic, mud, etc. Okay. So, Hooke's law states that stress is proportional to strain within the elastic limit.